Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to get started in the SH Fig Arts Nick Fury. Uh, what can I say? Except I, I wish that I could have cursed and said what's good and you know the part. But uh, unfortunately, I can't, so that's fine. But the point that I'm making is Nick Fury is a nice, fine addition to what we have for the Avengers, but it could have been so much better. It's, it's a solid toy. I think the only thing that's really destroying my love for this figure is the simple fact that I have been spoiled by cloth um and honestly if it if it wasn't for being spoiled by cloth it I, I honestly would feel like it's a great toy and it is but i've been spoiled by it and it hampers it shows a little bit of bias in what i would want but if you're happy with the plastic jacket trust me you're really gonna like this figure because while the sculpt is a little soft and it was not as good as mace windu it's still a solid addition in places in terms of articulation the way it looks and the way it maneuvers because that ab crunch on sam l it's something serious. I'm not even gonna front. So um yeah, let's talk about it. Let's back it on up. There we go. We are going to talk first about yeah. Plastic jacket. Not a fan of it. It kills movement. But then again, if you wanna be a super cool spy, right? None of that stuff matters because you wanna look elegant. You're Samuel Jackson. You're not doing any of the crazy thing that your comics counterpart is doing. And that's where my bias comes in. Because if we're talking about young comic book Nick Fury, son of Nick Fury Sr., guess what? This this would be awesome on a cloth cape, right? But we're not. We're talking about MCU. So I have to get over that. It's just as simple as that, right? So Samuel Jackson actually has a lot of articulation. You can look up, you can look down, left, right. None of those are real issues. Now, what I was thinking is I would get mad because it was single jointed, but it still has bicep swivel, as you're seeing here. And it sucks because the single joint does kind of kill it with that 90 degree angle. But his ab crunch and the way he moves technically kind of makes up for some of it. I'm going to show you why. Right? Even if you're not that hyper action star you want him to be, he looks the part when doing poses like this. The fact is that he can still get those moves, even with the jacket and the single joints. It's kind of proof to me that it's kind of made to make it look a little bit better than what it was, right? We can also twist left and right. No real issues, actually. We can crunch forwards. Crunching backwards is not an option due to this jacket. Our leg can come forward, which is really good. And we have a nice deep single joint cut, but it is pretty deep. Now, the reason why I said that is because if you wanted to put him in a vehicle... I do believe if you take the jacket off or cut it or whatever it is you're going to do, putting him in a vehicle would look pretty good. We have we have thigh swivel. And I totally messed up and had a brain fart there. But I was about to mention, you can also holster his weapon. Which is pretty important because um, we actually don't talk about that enough. A lot of the times, I hate when stuff is glued in. I really don't like that. And the fact that they allowed it to be a weapon holstered is actually pretty cool. So yeah, standing up, Sam L looks good. He achieves the ambiance and the feel and the look. I gotta say it's there. Even as I look right here with my lighting, I gotta say this looks really good. <laughs> you know? But again, if you're wanting more from this, this is not gonna be for you. But it definitely does achieve that ambiance. Uh, oh, by the way, some people are addressing issues with their bicep swivel. I currently do not have that issue. But I know some people are having issues with their bicep just popping in and out. It hasn't been a major thing, but it's there. So just, you know, address it uh, accordingly if you have it. I would recommend you use some clear nail polish to add some friction to that if you are having that issue. Um, yeah. Even the butterfly joint here. I didn't even realize this until now. There's a butterfly joint to allow you to pull the arm forward. So there are lots of different ways this has come out really nice. And... Again, I've just gotten to a point where I'm a little spoiled with other stuff. But this is a very solid entry. I think the weakest thing about it is probably going to be that the head sculpt is not as good as the Mace Windu one. Right? Some people don't like this sculpt. I think it looks pretty decent. I think personally, the beard, it just looks terrible. But the sculpt itself looks like him. Just a bad beard. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes your barber zeeks you and... This is what you get when you have a bad day shaving. But it's there. I even like the little scar. 
the scar above and below the eye patch. As far as the rest of the accessories, right, that we get with him, we have an alternative head, which honestly, I'm, I'm kind of over the whole looking sideways face. I mean, I wish we got more expressions out of them, because doing this is just, ugh, I'm tired of this. But it actually works for Nick Fury, don't get it twisted. It 100% works for the stoic look of Nick Fury. Just wish we had more. As stated previously, you have your sidearm, and it does fit. Right in its holster. So we know that Nick Fury is technically right-handed for having his sidearm now. Oop. Right, there we go. We actually get a lot of hands with him too. We actually get two types of hands. We get gloved hands, and then we absolutely get ungloved hands. So let's go with the gloved hands first. Gloved hands, you will get two open palm action hands. Open relax, I should say. Open relax palm hands. Then you will get trigger hands that you get for your gloved hands. And then you have your closed fist. Now for the chocolate hands, which I think they did really, really well, because I'm tired of them getting skin tones wrong. I think they did pretty decent here outside of the gloss. You also have open action hands here. You get two closed fist hands. And then you'll get a pointing hand. Especially when you want to be condescending to Tony Stark. Right? For the Avengers initiative. Like I said, it has been a solid release. It's been really good. And it articulates pretty well. If you are looking to get your MCU on, this will be a definite entry that you may want. If you're looking to pass on it, hoping to do another version, I don't know what to tell you. And I hope they do another one because I would love to see a S.H.I.E.L.D. uniform version, even if it's just a concept wise one. I would love to see it. Right. Real quick, though, let's jump into the size comparison. Show them off next to some Avengers and some other stuff. So let's get to it. All right, guys, now it's time for the size comparison. But before we jump into that, I do want to talk about how the mace window head looks on there and honestly it does not fit it really doesn't you would have to swap out the pegs so you technically would have to make a shorter oop, zoom in there we go you technically would have to make a shorter peg and then you would have to match the browns because mace window from star wars is actually a different shape so as you can see that neck there sits really really high even from the side, you can see the difference. But once you get that fixed, I mean, you can probably work something out. So it's really going to be on you from that point on. So let's swap this bad boy back in. Let's stand him up. And then let's get started. All right. I think personally, I will aim for uh, Avengers and Avenger like heroes. So we can get to that. Um, Because recently, the scroll version of your boy was in a movie, Far From Home. We would compare him to Spider-Man. And the Moffex one's absolutely uh, a really good size. Even with the custom peg I have from Dan's Custom CA. There's a custom peg in there. Which makes him sit a little bit taller. But I gotta say, it does look really good with Fury here. So those two actually they look great together in my opinion. So, let's take him out. Then let's compare the Mark 7 Iron Man. This is the newer one, right? And then we'll compare the War Machine Mark II. So we can compare a bunch of Avengers. Uh, ooh, you know what? Let's do Falcon from Infinity War. What have I done for you guys to not want to stand today? So weird. We have some S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. So, well, former S.H.I.E.L.D. agents at this point. Here's Hawkeye. Fury's right hand, Natasha Romanoff. This is the Infinity War version. I had her hair custom painted on my extra one. So Fury's right hand, which is the widow. On, hopefully I can turn this into a Maria Hill. Unless we will get a Maria Hill. You know what? We never know. You never know what people will pop up, right? So these are some good size comparisons so far. And then we'll do a cap. So let's slide these guys over. 
I chose the Infinity War one because it happened to be the one I had out. He also has some custom parts from Manipal Studio. All right? So Cap is obviously taller. Um, what else was there? Get some light down. Uh, oh, let's take all these guys away, actually. And then we'll compare some other lines. Here is Firefly from the G.I. Joe Classified line. Here is an Articulated Icons Ninja. Here's a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. And I'm probably going to have him fight off some Hydra agents because that would be awesome. I don't know if I still have MCU Hydras. Here is a Hasbro White Ranger. And as you can see, Fury works well with some G.I. Joes. He works well with some icons, but he looks a little on the short side when it comes to the other Hasbro stuff. So, the next batch of guys we have... Uh, who do... Oh, you know what? Here we are with a Mythic Legions 1.0. All right. Here we are with SHF Kamen Rider Kuga. Fury fits right in the middle. <laughs> Not bigger than or smaller than, just equal to. And just in case you want to see what he was like next to SHF Spider-Man, here is the anti ox suit. And here is the Mofex Endgame. If you want to look at the previous bodied ones, right? I see that those bodies are also smaller. Just in case you were wondering, right? As I've sat down and done this review, I also realized, you know what? I might have been too hard on it because I was biased. But uh, I actually ended up liking this by the end of this video. I really ended up liking it. I'm hoping the photos come out really well and you guys really enjoy the spy element I'm going to try to add to photos. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for always being patient. Say something nice in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. And please, be good, do good. Drink your water, guys. Later. Later.